Guys, what's up Towns here? I'm looking forward to going thrifting today because it's it's nice outside. It's warm and it's sunny. I can't believe it. Well, anyways, we're gonna go hit up some Salvation Armies, so let's go. Hi, can I get a large coffee, two cream, half sugar? That's all? That's everything. Thank you. Hi. Hi there. What do I owe? 225. 225. All right, thank you. Oh yeah. Now that I got my uh, coffee, uh, I am going to go to a couple Salvation Armies and I'm going to give you a tip. If you have anything lying around that you don't want anymore, I got some games and some old toys and stuff that doesn't really have any value. I'm going to donate it to the Salvation Army here and they're going to give me a coupon and that coupon is going to give me 20% off my next purchase, which is really good. So I try to donate as much stuff as I possibly can instead of throwing it out. I try not to give them garbage, although some people give them garbage. But I try to give them stuff that I think somebody might want, uh, but that has no value to me. So that's what I'm going to do first. All right, I just uh, I'm at the first a uh, the first. What is this place called again? Salvation Army. Okay, they moved the games inside. I wonder if they got sick of people stealing them. Anyways, I found one game. I found this uh, UFC 2 uh, Deluxe Edition. It's sealed, brand new. And uh, it's, I see there's like three or four that sold for about $20, $25. So this will be $3.99. So not a bad pickup. And then I found this uh, Skylander Swap Force bag. They want $9.99. Again, I wouldn't recommend really picking up Skylanders very often. But inside there is a bunch of, this is mostly, looks like Disney. Or Infinity characters. And I saw like Venom in there i know he's worth a little bit of money um, and a bunch of others so i think it's definitely worth picking up for 9.99 plus my son does like these and i don't think he has all of them so this is what i'm picked up picking up so far I haven't really found anything else so i uh, already went to the uh, little mom and pop uh, thrift store i didn't find anything there so uh, i'm going to the next uh, salvation army i usually go to uh, and it's so nice that i took off my sweater and I only have my t-shirt, which is a link to the past one. Uh, I didn't film, I found some Yokai Watch books, just like volumes one through five. I picked those up. Uh, they were like a buck, or, buck each, I think. And I picked those up because I figured it's, you know, manga. It's worth more than a buck a book. So anyways, we're heading to the next thrift. Hopefully I find a little more. At this one well the second uh, salvation army was was a bust uh i didn't find anything video game nothing i can flip i did buy a bike rack a thule bike rack it was 150 dollars. they go for like 250 300 use so i might keep it i know we need a bike rack it's a four carries four bikes we'll see what my wife wants to do i figured if, we don't, if she doesn't want it or we don't want it, we can always sell it on Facebook Marketplace for like two, 250 and make 50 to 100 bucks. So but anyways, um, I was sitting here in my car and somebody walked by and they saw my, they must've saw my like mic. And uh, they were like, are you famous? And uh, I was like, no. I was like, if you have to ask, then obviously I'm not famous, right? If you got to ask if you're famous, you're not famous. So I guess they just saw the mic and thought it was, you know, they see all the TikTok creators and all that wearing them. So uh, I get why she might think that, but that was pretty, pretty funny. On to the next. All right, guys, I'm at a, another thrift shop. And uh, this is like a church thrift shop. So we're going to go see what, uh, what we can find. Found a doll. Yeah. What, it's the same one as that you had as a kid? Yeah. You can, you can like wipe this away, but then it comes back. Oh, I remember those, like wipe away tear dolls. Yeah. 
I uh, remember those. Well, I found this uh, Xbox uh, backpack. It's pretty sweet. So just grabbing it for, for myself. All right, so all I found was Modern Warfare 2. So a dollar, I picked it up and that uh, backpack. Here we go. It's like an Xbox backpack. It's not old. It's from like 2019, but it's in pretty good shape. So yeah, it was, it was cool. How much was it? $6. Six bucks. So, yeah. I mean, I thought it was worth six bucks for sure. And then my wife grabbed some other things, but nothing video game related. We're going to be hitting up a value village that's... I don't come to that consistently because it's about 25 to 30 minutes from my house. But whenever I'm in the area, I like to hit it up. I found some good stuff. So, let's go. As soon as I walk into the left, they usually have some games. Jungle Book. Everything in this glass case is usually overpriced. But I can't see the prices, so I'd have to get somebody to look. Oh, they have a 2DS over there. I wonder how much they'll want for that. They also keep games from like right opposite of the glass case. They also keep a bunch of games here. I'll have to look this up. Ratchet and Clank, Tools of Destruction, $7.99. Uh, let's see if any of these are worth picking up here. We got Just Dance. Not seeing anything that I don't have already or need for the collection. Sims 2, Pets, GameCube. They want $10.49. I'll have to look that up. We got Overwatch. I don't know. Oh, I think I have Finding Nemo. I might have to look and see if I have this one. This one doesn't look familiar either. I don't think I have that one. It's only $4.99. Another place I check is this rack. Uh, they usually have like controllers in here. Yeah, here we go. No back. No price on that. It's probably, oh, here we go. Oh, a busted up, broken Xbox controller. They want 20 bucks for that. Let me think about it. This is where I can find calculators sometimes. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, portal power. I always check and see if it says for Xbox One on it. Those tend to have a little value. I did find a few things in that glass case I'll show you in a bit. And I also found something on that shelf. And the last place I check is electronics. And I'm looking for, do this. Oh, it's just a bag full of Wii accessories for $14.99. Too much. But last time I was here, I found a a Wii Mini, like the red, the red and black Wii console. It had all the cords and everything. It was $29.99, and I sold it for, I think, $60. So I doubled my money on that, but I don't see any, any consoles here today. So I grabbed a few things. Um, in that glass case, there was this game, The Warriors. It was $39.99. Um, this one, The Greatest Hits, was selling for like $80, uh, so I decided to grab this. Um, I did use a coupon, so I got like 30% off or 25% off. So in total, I paid 62, so focusing 62, 12. So I got Warriors, I got Mario Kart Wii Complete, 
this said 25 so not too bad this wasn't in the glass case this was in that uh just that shelf of games 7.99 it's ratchet and clank all for all for one this one's going for like 20 so i picked it up so it should be a an easy flip so then i also got this uh book gears of war book three i've never seen these but this one's selling for like 30 bucks so i picked it up all in all pretty good thrift i'm at a mcc thrift and uh yeah, MCC Thrift, and uh, the, all their games are a dollar, so I got a stack here. So I got uh, nothing crazy, some Just Dance games, some Rock Band games. We play Zumba Fitness and uh, on the Xbox One. Surprisingly, it's worth like 15 to 20 And then uh, Metro Last Light. I mean, for a dollar, so one, two, three, eight bucks. Hard to go wrong with that. Let's go. I'm still at the uh, MCC Thrift. I found this bag. They want uh, 4 54 and there are a couple of vintage turtles in there. So there's one here, and there's one here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think that's one. And uh, I think they're 1990. So I'm definitely going to grab this uh, bag. I'm back at my favorite place and I found Bioshock with the slipcover. I don't have this game, which I'm very surprised. So I'm definitely going to pick it up for the collection. It's only worth like $10, but I don't have it. And then I'm going to pick up Alan Wake, even if I give it away as a gift. I love this game, so I'm going to pick it up. It's one of those games I just, whenever I find a copy, I pick it up. Because I pick. It's worth it. Canon. Power Shot. Looks like they go for like a hundred bucks if they're working. So for $14.99, definitely worth picking up. Can I see the games in this case? I just want to look at all of them. Awesome. All right guys, they have them priced at eight bucks. It's not too bad. Uh, all of these are like $5. But uh, Burnout Legends like 15, Pursuit Force, Extreme Justice like 15, Daxter's like 20. Uh, Namco's like 15 and the Simpsons this is probably the best find this is probably 45 40 to 50 bucks let's go all right so I grabbed all those and there's a coupon where if you buy three or more media you get half off so I got everything half off I paid 41 68 total so these were only four dollars a piece those were two dollars a piece so great deal as I was walking out I saw a cart with some Xbox 360 games in it none of the games were good but there was this Gears of War figure, and it's a Locust, Headshot Locust drone. And uh, I've never seen one of these before. This is pretty sweet. It was only $6.99. I didn't even look it up um, to check to see what it's going for. So, But that's pretty sweet. This thing is probably about $50 for sure. So I paid just over 7 bucks for that. So that's pretty cool. Not sure if I'm going to be keeping that, uh, starting to collect. I don't know if I'm going to start collecting uh, toys and whatnot, but still, pretty good haul at Salvation Army today. Uh, it's raining, so I can't uh, record long, but I just uh, made this uh, pick up here. Some pretty good stuff in here. Um, and there's a PSP as well, so not bad. Um, this is from my guy again that, uh, I'll just call him Guy, uh, that always sets aside stuff for me. So. Uh, Got to go through it, see see what we have, and uh, we'll work out a work out a deal. Here's a, a better look of everything I picked up from from Guy. There's a PSP in there, which I'll be selling. I have several PSPs, so I don't need that. Batman Arkham Asylum Game of the Year Edition. I think I have that, so I don't need that. Burnout Paradise. I have that. I don't have Harry Potter Connect, so that'll be going in the collection. I do have Minecraft, so I'll be selling that. I don't have MIB Alien Crisis, so that'll be going into the 360 collection. And I don't have, this is probably the best game of the lot, The Amazing Spider-Man, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. I uh, definitely don't have this. I think this goes for like 25, so pretty good. And then just some sports games, Halo, 
uh, Need for Speed Rivals. I already have those, so not too bad. I imagine I'll be paying around thirty dollars for this uh, bundle of bundle of games in the PSP. So not a bad pickup. So I have a guy that uh, uh, always sets aside all the games that he comes across. Um, he's like a reseller, but he doesn't deal with with games, so he just passes them my way. So you can see there's my name. He just puts it in a bin or in a box and then hands it my way and then uh, I get to work at a deal with him. PlayStation 3, Modern Warfare 2, some PSP games, nice. Burnout uh, Legends, I have that one already. Test Drive Unlimited, I uh, don't have that one. Grand Theft Auto, Vice City Store, ooh, that's a good one. This is probably worth about 40 to $50. Oh, it's complete. Has the map, nice. Um, I, I don't want this one for my collection, so I'll be selling that, but pretty sweet. Lumines, Lumines, Lumines 2. I remember with the PSP, you get the first Lumines, which I don't have in my collection, and you could like hack the PSP or use that game to hack the PSP somehow. So if I remember that correctly, that's just when I bought a PSP back in the day. All right, so I don't have that. I think I'll definitely be keeping that. Killzone Liberation, nice. I'm going to be keeping that. I don't have this one in my PSP collection. Patapon, I already have that one. Field Commander, uh, I don't have this. Not sure I'm going to hold on to that. MLB, Siphon Filter, Dark Mirror, I definitely have this game. It's like one of the launch games. I played that one back in the day. SOCOM, I think I have this one. Wipeout Pure, I don't think I have that game. Looks like a racing game. PC game, which I don't really deal with and a couple PS4 sports games which probably have no value or I don't care about. Ben 10, Protector of Earth. So um, I've actually already agreed uh, for $25 for all this stuff. So this is a great deal. The Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories more than pays for what I paid for everything here. So pretty sweet to add some more PSP games to the collection. Let's go. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, would you like, would you subscribe uh, so you can see more content from What's Up Towns. We'll see you guys in the next.